Hello to everyone guys. Welcome to this new session. Uh, today in this video, uh, we will just learn how to add the archive option to our own model or an existing model. So in this example, I will just show you that um, how to create uh, all in all my existing videos in several videos I have just shown that how to create new models. So in this example, we will just use a existing model which I have already created a very simple model and in that model we will just do some modification. So what I mean by this um, archive and unarchive I will just explain you in a couple of minutes but first let me just show you what we are using. So this is Odoo 16 community edition as usual and we will be working in Visual Studio as usual. So let's let's just go to context just for an example just to demonstrate what i'm talking about so let's see i'm just opening this contact and if i want to archive so what uh, archive mean and in a lot of the default models in odoo have the ability to archive records this is a common feature that is used in odoo and you will most likely want or need to have this option on your own model too. Imagine uh, you have got some contacts in your database uh, and they left your company and you no longer want these contacts to show up in your searches. So thanks to archive option. Uh, if you no longer be, you know, need uh, any kind of um, records, you have an option to just archive them. and if you have already archived any any records you can also unarchive them so the, the and that will be in these action menus so let me just show you uh, my already existing model which is in inventory in my previous videos i have already shown that how i created this model so if i go in configuration uh, the name of the model, it's product tags. I click this and I have already created some dummy, some samples, wholesale items. So basically just product tags and that is appearing on products. So if I go in products from here, so there is a many to many field there. I open a product and I will just show you there is a many to many field here. Uh, which is tags, this one. So you can just add as much as you like. Okay. So if I go in my, this model, if I click here and if I want to archive this, I don't have this option. So how can we have that option? This is the question. So <clears throat> what we will do, so first of all, let me just show you, let me just close all these unnecessary files. And this is the model, very simple model. In this model, there are only two fields, name and color. And these are the views. <clears throat> In the views, it's just the tree view, two fields. Uh, this is a form view, just two fields. I have made two groups, name and color. And this is the search menu. Just we are searching with name at the moment. Uh, this is the action menu, just action. And this is the menu item. Okay, so let's start with the Python file. What we do if we want to have an archive option, first of all, we just need to do, we just need to create a field which is active. And that will be a Boolean field. Boolean, that's it. And, um, we say active, that is the string, and then we can say default is equal to true. All right, guys. So active, we have just created a field which is active, Boolean field, uh, and default is true. And then we will add it in the tree view if you want, but we will just make it invisible. So we will say field, Field name is active and we say invisible. 
one. <coughs> right. Okay. Uh, we have added it in the tree view. What we do, we also add it in form view as well. So the same tree view line, we can just copy from there and paste it here. Okay. Uh, in search menu, okay, we will add it later, but first see what is the effect of these changes, what we will see in our front end. So let's restart the service. And after that, we just need to upgrade our module. And because always upgrading module will take maybe like 30, 40 or maybe 10, 20 seconds. So I will pause my video. Once it will be uploaded, I will just and pause it. Okay, guys, it's almost upgraded. This mobile, this my custom module, which is for wounded souls. If I go in inventory now, and if I go in my custom module, which is product tags, and now if I click here, I can see archive option is already there, and un unarchive is also there. So let's. Uh, uh, let's archive this. Are you sure that you want to archive all the selected record? This is a by def default, this message. If I click OK, that is gone. We cannot see that record now. And if we want to see it here, we don't have a filter or group by, but in filter, what we can say, the active is no, apply. So this is the item. This is the record which has already been archived. So if I click it here and I say uncar ar ar un archive, let's clear this filter and we can see all our records are there. Okay. Um, so whenever we add archive and unarchive option, we should also add search, um, definitely search filter. So because that is our custom module, so what we do, we just go in our search view here and after this name, we can just do a separator. Separator is, separator is just like um, space just in, in between the other filters. So we say that um, Okay, after separator, we will add a filter. Filter name is, we say archived. We give this filter a string, and we say archived. And we also add a domain here. And we say active that's it <clears throat> sorry okay Right. <clears throat> okay, uh, guys, um, I have already shown you that uh, when I archived that record and when I wanted to see the an, um, archived record, I go in filter and I say that active is false. The same condition we have used it here and we have said active is false. So it will... Uh, uh, it it it's it will just show the archive records. So this is a filter, and let's see how it will affect. Let's restart our um, Odoo, and then we will upgrade our modules. Okay, guys, our module has been upgraded. Let's see if we go in inventory. I again click my custom module product tags and before 
there was no filter now we have added archived filter so let's suppose we are going to archive this record that's it and if you want to see that record now we click archived and then we can clearly see it here so it's so convenient and la last but not least let me just show you what we can do if i go in contacts and if i archive this option okay this is administrator that's why it's not allowing me to do that let's archive this okay so once we archive we can see a, a ribbon here archived which is looking very cool how can we do that so uh, for this we just need to create a widget and how can we do that if you just go in and we can search odoo source code and if we just search with widget so we can see widget here we just need to find out a particular widget which is this widget name is web ribbon uh, title archived bg color b um, bg danger which is a red color and then that domain so let's copy this and what we can do we can just paste it in our form view right after the sheet so we just paste it here okay uh, we don't need to do anything uh, it will remain the same web ribbon archived uh, a red color is fine and it will be invisible when active will be true so if it's unarchived then it will be invisible it will be only visible when it will be archived okay let's just restart our odoo service and then i'm going to upgrade my custom module so right guys my module has been upgraded i don't know this system is performing a bit slow today if i go in inventory go to my custom module and i'm going to archive this record if i archive it so it's been archived and if i want to see that i go in my filter click archive so all these two records are archived if i click one i can see this banner archived i can see second record that is also archived so uh, why it's just a bit small because my form is very small so if we just create or just increase the uh, height and length so that will so uh, i believe you like this video guys this is very easy but very convenient and very very handy um, whenever we need to create custom modules we definitely definitely need this functionality and through uh, this uh, what i have just shown you in this video you can create archive unarchive you can create ribbon um, you can create filters so four things i have just told you today in this video i hope you like this video if you like it please like it share it with your odoo friends and yeah subscribe my channel thanks guys and we'll see you in next video thank you bye bye